fingers and lead hands. Okay. As you get older, I have to admit I'm getting older. I'm going to be the big 5-0 this year. You notice things start getting a little stiffer in the morning. You know, things like your hands and stuff like that. Exercises I have been doing for years and years and years um, that have helped me. And some of you, if you're into Eastern stuff and you have a set of these, you make a little thing like that. A lot of people, they'll do them this way and you can roll them around like that. The actual way to use these is vertically. My hands are sweaty here, so I should get it going. But this way here, you get them spinning this way. There we go. <laughs> Twenty pounds. But this way allows you to get a grip with each and every one of your fingers. It's very therapeutic if you're not using something like this to keep the hands going and doing it vertically, especially with your contact juggling. This right here is one of the best things. I, I brought an extra set in case somebody wants to try it. They, they'll show you doing it this way here, but no, this is the way to get the workout. Okay? This, what this does, this is going to work every one of the joints and knuckles and things like that. Also, it is doing reflexology pressure points in the palm of your hand, so it actually improves your health. Um, so when you're doing your manipulation of a ball, <laughs> see, now the nice thing is the sweaty hands, they stick pretty good. <laughs> okay. so, but um, if you're going to do a basic finger roll, it's just down, 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 and then come back okay. All those things are done with your first set of exercises that we're going to talk about here, other than rolling those in the hand. This is stretches. Okay. The first stretch, you need to stretch between each of the flanges here and your fingers. Okay. So you start off here at the side of your wrist, and you push it in, and you work it up the forearm. Okay. You're looking to get it about just below the elbow where your tennis elbow would appear. Okay. Then you turn the hand this way with a wider span again and you keep working it up. You're going to feel a nice pull in here and in through here. And you go, put those together and you live long and prosper. Mm -hmm. Do the next set with the hand horizontally. And there, and you work your way up. There we go. And then you do it this way again. You do this every morning both hands, and then you do the pinky again. Now this will allow you to work up to, I use a 50 millimeter ball, which is bigger than a, bigger than a uh, golf ball. And then you just sort of shake it out. Now for the thumb, you just take it and you pull back on the thumb. You try to keep the hand straight, pull the thumb down, you're working on that stretch there. Some people can actually get the thumb down there, I can't do that. Okay. Now, to relax the tendons, once you do that, relax the hand as much as you can, grab the joint, and shake the joint out. This part feels really good after stretching. And just do each finger like this. Okay. Now, since I started with that, i got to do the other hand. Okay. There we go. So go ahead and give these a try, because <clears throat> This also helps you, not necessarily with balls, but with cards. We're going to talk about doing card stuff later. That's all you're doing is pushing. You don't just, hold just it. Just push it in, and you're going to feel it until you get to feel a pull, right? And you go to the center too, and again work it up the arm. Now, these exercises I, I, I have to give credit are actually from Chavez. They were taught to me by Bruce Johnson years ago after he graduated. So I, I'm going to give them full credit. Because these are the ones that, you know, you've seen, if you've ever seen Bruce Johnson perform his card act. Portrait motion. Wish he was still performing. But he's under a higher calling, so you can let him do that. Okay. Now, for card working, I, and I do them even when I'm not performing, but I do them every morning when I get up. It helps get the blood flowing. And my doctor says, Danny, I'm getting old. I got arthritis in my hands. It's not too bad yet. I broke this finger a few years ago and lost the ability to play guitar. So I've been doing the exercises for years. I'm back playing guitar again. Um, you need your lingual fingers for guitar picking and stuff like that. But the the idea of relaxing those fingers, relaxing the joints after you stretch them. Keep your hands relaxed. Keep it doing it every day, and uh, your hands will serve you for a long time. They won't turn to light. Anybody want to try? Also, you want to try it? 
Go ahead and work those around. You'll find they're, they'll spin easier in one direction. There you go. Yeah. Get them up like that. Now, after a few seconds, keep going. You'll, can you feel it like in the back of your hand, the thumbs and stuff like that? Yeah. Ah. This is this is my thing. It drives my wife nuts because I'll sit there at night watching the TV. Playing with your balls. And I'll, playing with my balls. Yes. <laughs> yes, I know. But it's a uh, it's a good relaxation. Um, but I tell you what, it helps it helps with the hands, especially if you're if you're practicing your opening and closing for a vanish or whatever. It helps keep that that limber, that motion, that movement. Highly recommend those. Okay, now Paul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is different. It, you'll feel it. You'll feel it. It's it's totally different, especially with with uh, operating when you contact juggling. <coughs> yeah. To get, I've been doing this with it. snooker balls. Yes. Do it um, horizontal. Do it horizontal. And then you bring with it up. With three. Oh, yeah. Three snooker balls, and they're heavy. Yeah. 